Welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. The Jim Green range consists of quite a wide variety of boots, with one of the biggest factors differentiating our range is whether our boot is a single lasted option or a double lasted option. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look and compare a single lasted boot to a double lasted boot and run through the pros and cons and how we manufacture these boots. To kick things off, let's have a look at our double lasted boot options, which some of the more popular styles consist of our Razorback and our Slip-on Outback and Stockman boots. One of the reasons our double lasted boots are so popular is because we don't take any shortcuts in production. So here you can see that our double lasted boot is fully leather lined. So you have close on four millimeters of leather surrounding your foot. So how is this process done? Here we have a completed upper and here we have a last with a lasting board attached. And what happens is that the upper is placed onto the last and this first layer of leather is pulled over the last and tucked under and attached to the lasting board. So once the pull toe machine has lasted the front of the boot, we then hand last the rest of it and the boot then moves on to the next stage where our full grain leather upper is pulled over the, over the last and flanged out and ready for our number 10 stitching machine. So what are the benefits of a fully leather lined, double lasted Jim Green boot? Firstly, it's the durability and protection that you get. As mentioned before, there's close on four millimeters of leather surrounding your foot. Secondly, being two layers of leather gives this boot water resistant properties. And with regular polishing or a little bit of beeswax, it does keep water out for a good amount of time. We don't sell this boot as a waterproof option, but it is rather water resistant. And now onto the negatives that come with a double lasted boot. One of the biggest negatives is that there's a longer break in period. Naturally, with more material surrounding your feet, it means that there's gonna be a couple more miles and a couple more hours that you need to do in them to soften them up before they become like your slippers. Next, because your feet are surrounded by so much leather, is that sometimes in the warmer days, they don't breathe as easily as a single lasted boot would do. So, and lastly, because there's more materials and labor needed to produce this boot, it is going to be a bit more expensive than a single lasted option. So now onto our single lasted boots, of which popular styles are our Feli, 
and our African Ranger. Here the process is a lot more simple as there is only one layer of leather that is pulled over the last and flanged out and then stitched to the midsole. So now onto the pros of a single lasted boot. So firstly, the break in period is a lot more shorter. Being less materials, it's easier to break them in and there's first out already a lot more flex in the boot compared to in the Razorback, which is quite firm. Next, and once again, being less materials, single lasted boots are a lot lighter than the double lasted boot. Being one layer of leather and lighter weight, they're also better suited for warmer conditions. Now onto the cons, and one of them being is that they are not waterproof or water resistant. So water can very easily get inside of your, inside of your boot. Another con is that they are not as durable or add as much protection as a double lasted boot, as they are just a single layer of leather and you don't have that calfskin lining surrounding your foot. So thanks very much for tuning in once again. I hope we've cleared up the differences between a single lasted and a double lasted boot for you. And what we're going to do is put up a little graph here showing you the pros and cons and then down in the comment section below please let us know your feedback on what you prefer and what type of work you're using the boots in.